quité Se oye la lluvia En los techos de cartón Qué triste vive mi gente En las casas de cartón Holding has uh, probably got the worst graffiti problem on the block here um, mostly due to the fact that it has no no fence to protect the bottom six or eight feet. Um, when, when a building starts to look like this, it just attracts more of the same. As you can see, it's probably got three or four layers of graffiti in some places. And what we're going to do here is, uh, first we're going to get, with the owner's help, we're going to do some light sandblasting to remove all the graffiti. I mean, you guys, I mean, they, you guys, right, you guys, you guys, you guys are, are part of the Harrison gents or Windsor gents, right? Right? Uh, how do you feel about the fact that they're taking the graffiti off that you put on the building? <laughs> hey, man, to tell you the truth, that was a uh, memory right there for the old timers, man. Because every time the old timers pass by, they, you know, they be proud because they got the initials there. And right now, to tell you the truth, that they racing, they're going to feel bad. You think they'll feel bad about they'll it? They'll feel bad I mean, about don't you, it. Don't you see that as a positive change, though, rather than a negative change? I mean, it means that they're trying to make the neighborhood look a little bit better. Yeah, I, I understand, but some of us don't like that because some of us, we always grew up in this neighborhood. And, you, you and they, want always had, they always wanted to have that there. When I spray this off, why don't we do this? Are you going to go all the way on it? All right. Actually, the shorter the sand hose is, the, the better it works. So, but you, you also want to keep you want to keep the machine far enough away from the dust so right. that the so dust doesn't get in the motor. Yeah. Right. Why do you put this thing on? Uh, Over the head like that. Huh? There you go. Uh, let's try it over.
experiment a little bit with with taking maybe some muriatic acid yeah, I, and I washing just, it down after we're finished. Right, I was so, just telling so that it darkens that. it a little bit. Right, because uh -huh. it's gonna it's gonna be too clean on the spots where right. we're taking it off. In the case yeah. of getting the whole pan. Yeah, it's either that or or yeah, clean the whole Why thing with you? acid afterwards, right. and then we'll have a. Consistent well, I don't look. I don't think it will be too much work uh, if you just. Do what you're doing. Take care of the letters, and then just go over and with acid. Uh, the acid and right. the wire brush. Sure. And took off the graffiti, but it left the marks of the sandblast, so that to uh, commercially do it, uh, you'd have to have a large outfit. This is sort of a home craft outfit that we've got. Well, we can get 100 pounds, it doesn't spray that wide a nozzle, and uh, we tried it on a section of it, but it took an hour and 20 minutes for something like 21 square feet, so there's 440 some odd there, you can figure out what it would take. So we figured it's a high risk area, we'd paint it. If it got graffiti, we paint it again. But how do you feel? I mean, those white, it looks like uh, it would be just a service. It's the canvas, more or less, from uh, you know, inviting more graffiti to come in. Will it be, or I should ask, will it be offensive in front of it? We talked about it, but the cost was prohibitive. We only had so much money to spend, and uh, we're trying to stretch it as far as we can do it. And we figured if. Uh, we kept at it long enough, the kids would start to take a little pride in it, too, and stop it. So if anything does come on, you'll just paint it over? Just paint where it's graffitied, right. right. Trying to take the graffiti off of the, uh, off the front of our building. And hopefully... With Ted's help here, he's trying to work out some type of a system that we can use to spray on or coat the building so the next time if they put graffiti back on, we can take it off with a lot less effort. Are there any uh, special chemicals that you're using, or what is this? He's the man you'd have to ask about that. All As far as I know, we're just using paint strippers. Is that right, Ted? Yeah, that's what we're using here to try and take off the graffiti. Just regular paint stripper and then... Uh, uh, a little hard work. A little hard work, a little elbow grease and some water. Do you have to scrub this off? Yeah, or you've got to scrub it to help the uh, stripper work, apparently. So well, you see, you like this, this has it on just now. So once it starts to work, you give it a little elbow grease and it... Uh, pulls it off the wall. We can. We have a little bit of an advantage over some of the other buildings because we have uh, glazed brick on the front of the building. It's face brick and it's got a smooth finish which is a little more resistant to the paint going into the, the pores of the brick. The buildings that have the rougher grain finish probably wouldn't be able to use this.